Welcome to this tutorial. Today, we will cover how to use scripts to create and install virtual machines and containers in Proxmox. Let's review the Proxmox scripts that are available. These scripts can help automate and simplify various tasks within Proxmox, enhancing your efficiency and effectiveness in managing virtual environments. Here are some examples that we will go over later in this tutorial. For example, we will install a Home Assistant virtual machine. All available scripts are categorized by type. This categorization helps in quickly identifying and accessing the scripts you need for specific tasks within Proxmox. To begin, we will execute the Proxmox post installation script. We will validate which repositories are activated at the moment. As you can see, the enterprise repositories are currently activated. Let's copy the script that we can execute to set up some configuration for Proxmox post installation. Click on Proxmox post installation, then click on the copy button. Going back to your Proxmox GUI, select your Proxmox node and then click on the option menu shell. Paste the script command line and press enter to start the script execution. Replying yes will start the script execution. Read each question carefully and answer with your preferred parameters for your Proxmox installation and usage. The script will prompt you for various settings. By providing your preferences, you ensure that your Proxmox environment is tailored to your specific needs and use cases. Once you've answered these questions, the post-installation script will be executed. We can now verify that the script worked properly. Let's check the activated repositories. As we can see, the no subscription repository is now activated. This indicates a successful operation. Here's an example of installing Home Assistant using a script. First, let's verify the script's activities. You can copy the URL to view the script and each line that will be executed. It's important to review the script's content to ensure that nothing inappropriate will be installed or executed in your Proxmox environment. You can review and validate each line to ensure you understand what is executed by this script. It's generally not recommended to execute scripts from the internet. However, in my environment, I've never encountered any issues with these scripts. Exercise caution when using scripts from unknown sources. Navigate to Home Assistant and select your preferred version and copy the script command line. Navigate back to your Proxmox node and select the shell option. Paste the script command line to start the execution. In this example, we will go over the advanced options to ensure that we indicate our preferred installation options. You will need to answer many questions according to your preferred options. The virtual machine for Home Assistant is starting. You will see each installation step by step. You can navigate to the Home Assistant Virtual Machine Console. The installation will be in progress, and you will see each command executed for the Home Assistant installation. When the installation is completed, you will see the Home Assistant screen that indicates the URL you need to use to access your Home Assistant environment. You can continue this setup by adding all your smart devices, creating a dashboard, and setting up automation. This demonstrates a successful installation. Now we will go over the process to install Plex Media Server using the same approach. From the menu, select the Media Photo option, then click on Plex Media Server. When the new screen appears, click the Copy button to get the script command line. Return to your Proxmox node and select the Shell option. Paste the command line to execute the installation script. As with the previous process, you will be prompted with many questions. Answer them according to your preferred options tailored for your environment. In this example, 
I am using all the default parameters. After answering all the questions, the installation will begin, and you will see each step of the process. When the installation is completed, you will see the URL that you need to use to access your Plex Media server. The last line is the URL that you need to access. Copy this URL into your internet browser. You will now access your Plex Media server. You will need to log into your account and start the configuration to import all your media files. This demonstrates that the installation was successful. This completes the tutorial. I hope this will help you quickly and easily create new virtual machines.